This is Stephen Cam from Painted Peacock Manor doing a little mini review of two Ulster style observation hives. The left one is from Man Lake, the right one is from Brushy Mountain. The designs are very similar, they both look very similar, but there's some pretty significant differences in terms of uh, features, convenience, and quality between the two. So let's take a look. Um, both will hold a standard nuke, five frames on the bottom plus one frame on the top. And if you're putting one frame in the top for observation and closing it up, you'll probably want to put a frame feeder in the bottom. Well, for one, let's just take a look at observation. The primary goal of an observation hive is to be able to observe the hive. Let's see how easy or difficult it is to remove these panels. On the Man Lake version, it just slides up and you get a nice view of the inside. On the Man Lake version, there's a bottom cleat and a side cleat holding in this panel along with this thumb screw. Which actually requires a fairly significant number of turns to remove as it is quite a long screw. And after that, this lifts up and out. So quite a bit less convenient, still perfectly functional, but quite a bit less convenient than the Man Lake version. Now the latches that hold the top onto the unit are very similar, sort of like luggage style latches, but Man Lake provides these safety pins, which are sort of just the right tension. You can pull them off with one hand, but they're They'll never come off accidentally, and it would be difficult for a kindergartner or a first grader to pull off. On the Brushy Mountain version, there's a hole available for a similar type of pin or lock, but they don't provide one, so you'd have to go find it yourself, and you'd have to find six of them. Let's take a look now at the entrances. Very standard round hole for a nuke style entrance. You can rotate this open, or rotate it closed. And to secure it for transport or exhibition, you would just put a screw into here. On the Man Lake version, there's a built-in spring latch. So you pull the spring, open it up, open it, or close it. So once again, it's really nice to have this feature built in where you can close this up in a way that would be impossible to spring open accidentally and very difficult for a small child to open. Let's take a look in the top. So. Brushy Mountain puts the latches on the side. Man Lake puts them on the top. I'm not sure that there's really any difference in functionality, except that Man Lake also has these little rotating extra latches. I'm not really sure what those are for, but they're available. If we lift this off, we see a slot to hold your frame and the plexiglass side panels and a built-in cleaning excluder. Very similar. On the Man Lake version, the top lifts off, a little slot for the frame, plexiglass sides, and the built-in queen excluder. Uh, I did notice one, one place where the Brushy Mountain version appears to be superior is the space between the glass here is much closer to proper B space once a frame has been inserted than the Man Lake version. The Man Lake version appears to be at least a quarter inch too wide. I may have to see if I can shim that somehow so that they don't build burr comb. Well, let's lift off the tops and look down in the middle. This is where your five frames would go if you're not exhibiting and where the four frames would go if you lifted one up into the top and filled that gap with a frame feeder. Nice feature of the Brushy Mountain Hive is it came with two frame feeders, a single wide and looks like a one and a half wide with a B ladder. Uh, Really nice to include, but unfortunately uh, they were damaged in shipping. You can see the ear has been broken off of that one. Man Lake did not include that, but I was able to add one to my cart for just a few dollars. And again, the prices will be in the comments below. So for very roughly comparable pricing, you get equivalent functionality with each. Now, one thing I did want to highlight is just the overall quality and feel of the two products. Now, let's go down here and look at the mic board that's included with both products. Man Lake stops up this gap with this extra little piece of wood and I was really pleasantly surprised when I was pulling this out. It may seem like I'm struggling with it a little bit. That's because the precision is so good that it fits in here like a really finely crafted piece of furniture. Uh, 
it looks like this was laser cut. It fits so well. I'm, I was not expecting this in a piece of hive equipment, and that level of quality just goes throughout the entire product. If I put this thing down on the side, you'll see this surface of the box here has four different pieces of wood joined together. And if I run my hand across here, I can't tell where one piece of wood stops and the next begins. This has either been planed or sanded very smooth. And again, it just feels like quality. And I, unfortunately, I just can't say the same thing about the Brushy Mountain product. So even though the Brushy Mountain product was a few, a few dollars cheaper and included the frame feeders, I'm going to return this and I'm going to keep the Man Lake Hive because of quality and features. And just a postscript to this, I had ordered the Brushy Mountain version first and I would have kept it and I never would have considered the Man Lake version because it was a little bit cheaper and it included the frame feeders, except that this unit had really an egregious amount of shipping damage. Either shipping or damage in the warehouse or something. There were at least eight different areas of damage on the unit. I'll just show you a couple. There's a big gouge on the side. There's that dented corner. One of these latch holes was, was severely bent and then the frame feeders inside were, were broken. There's some other unrepairable damage on the bottom. Had I, had I received this unit in good condition, I would have been happy with it and I never would have considered buying a replacement for it. But considering all the shipping damage that it received, I decided to try the Man Lake version and I'm really glad I did because um, I do believe this is a better product. I wouldn't be unhappy with the other one if I didn't know about this one, but knowing about the Manly product, I would definitely endorse this one. Thanks. Keep watching the bee cam. In a second postscript of story, uh, this is the shipping box that my Manly hive arrived in, and you can see it's double thick corrugated with these nice expanded foam uh, blocking. And it was shipped, latched together in this box and arrived in perfect condition. The Brushy Mountain version was not disassembled, but unlatched with the top and the bottom separately in this gigantic cube cardboard box, but the box was really much thinner cardboard and didn't protect it very well. So I liked the Man Lake box so well, I'm actually going to use it to return the Brushy Mountain product. Once again, it just goes to the overall quality of experience that I got going with a Man Lake product, and I would definitely buy that product again or recommend it to any of my beekeeper friends.